All right, Sucrose back to play a little more Cuphead DLC. Um, it is about 100 degrees in my apartment, so um, I'm going to try not to die of heat stroke. But I've uh, got some water. I'm wearing relatively little clothing. And uh, you know, surely this game won't be stressful. So, um, we have a little bit left to do. I don't exactly know how much, but we found, you know, one of these ladders coming down with the King's sort of mini games, and here's another. So I figured we'd at least do these. Um, and maybe we take a shot at trying to get A pluses on everything. Um, but uh, certainly these at least. All right, so how does the controls work? Oops. Jump is uh, is exit apparently. All right. A clash of force and finesse awaits you this fine day. This match will get red hot. Here goes. Okay, so more riparian. So I am. I'm the girl, uh, Miss Chalice. So how do I damage? Oh, oh, there's some height. Oh, that's not it. Oh, I just bounced them into him. Okay, and then double jump. Okay, all right. And then I can sort of control the direction. Okay, all right. Seems imminently doable. And presumably these sparks are going to come flying out maybe faster. Really just need to... Honestly, just like the other ones, I need to take my time. Where these pink balls aren't lining up. Gotta, you know, sometimes... What, what's the expression? You have to make your own luck. That's, that's what it is. This would be significantly harder with Cuphead instead of Miss Chalice. It's getting a little... getting a little uh, busy. All right. First try, right? It's pretty good. Was that the rook? She didn't look. Hark, you have displayed such expediency. The reward, wealth untold. Two more coins. Um, I permit the special entry to the next match. Um, so let's see, we had two coins. I think this allows us to buy another, another weapon. And I think that means there's three coins left to get. So my guess is that there's going to be two more from him and then one more from the map. Maybe that ghost, the ghost secret. If I've counted right. So this is the queen. Sure, we have to fight the king, right? Oh, hello. Okay, so the cannon shoots. If I hit it, oh, man, that comes in quick. So she brings her wand down, and I can, okay, I can tumble them. Then I have to do a dodge this, and then I need to hit him up her. Okay, too little, too late. I dare say that's checkmate. This is uh, this was no joke. To try to aim. And avoid that, and then avoid all the falling things. This is probably the toughest here. You've got to really watch. Um, seems doable, but it definitely doesn't seem easy.
could probably kill her quite fast if you uh, if you knew how to aim. Maybe instead of aiming, I'll just uh, hit it as often as possible. Maybe that doesn't work very well either. Surely, oh my goodness, the um, the next phase is going to be. Oh god, is this just going to keep happening? I can't, I'm, I can't look, so I'm just shooting when I have a Alright! I really thought there was going to be another phase. I guess the, um... I guess the other phase was her doing that rain down so much. Hark to my new champions! The remaining spoils! Oh, there's three. So is that the, all the coins? And with that, the tournament has concluded. Henceforth, my castle shall remain a training ground for the fare thee well, champions. I was actually kind of hoping there might be like a boss rush sort of thing. Uh, like to fight all of them in one go. So, what do we have left? We've got it. I, I want to full clear everything on, on like expert. But there's also this little guy. Let's see if the ghost doesn't have. Say, young fry, I'm hot on the trail of a mystery, but I'm stumped. That c contest of skill, that broken artifact. Broken artifact. Also, we haven't figured that out. This eerie graveyard, I've discovered potent astral energy in all these places. There must be an order and method to it. Well, I agree. Broken relic. So. What's what's happening is I select three. The ghost is telling me no. So there's got to... Presumably, if I pick the correct three, the ghost will do something different. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I can select. The middle one you can't select. What does this have to do with the contest of skill? Maybe I should go... Maybe I should do the king's challenge with the... Which would mean we have to do Cuphead. Uh, wait, I thought that it would be here. The king said that his um, castle would remain open. So the question is, where is the castle? Aha. Uh -huh. This goes back to the main room, I suppose. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's see if we if we can do this with Cuphead. Did not mean to do that. But just want to jump around like a like a maniac. All right, so what happens if I talk to him? A subject remain at the ready for spirited match. Who shall you challenge or not? Who, the gauntlet? Maybe that... Oh, look at that. How, how did they know that's what I wanted? So maybe this is a total guess, but maybe if I beat the gauntlet with the... Relic equipped. Which is gonna be tough because 
I have to parry. I don't get a double jump. I don't get a double dash. Um... Uh, okay, and ah, uh, and if I have the broken relic equipped, I also can't use like the other relics that would make this easy, like extra health. Yeah, this is gonna be a significant challenge. So. Before I commit to doing that, maybe we should try to beat one of them. Um, okay, all right. We can buy everything. Let's go do that. Let's go do that first, just to sort of eliminate any possibilities. Uh, All right, pork rind. Thank you for your stuff. I kind of thought that'd be an achievement, but that's okay. Um, so the the idea that's in my head is that right, in order to equip the broken relic. You have to issue all the other charms. Like, this would be much easier if I could add hit points, for example, or certainly this. That would be three extra hit points. But the only vague reason I have to even think that this is a thing is uh, is this little message and all he does is mention the challenge which may not even refer to the king's challenge oh, let's see, see the word he says I'm hot on the trail of a mystery but I'm stuck so am I a contest of skill contest of skill that broken artifact this eerie graveyard Potent astral energy. There must be an order and method to it. I have a friend who hates it when I try to brute force stuff like this. Um, right, because it's nine times eight times seven possibilities. No, eight times seven times six, which is a which is a lot. Um, they do have sort of different shapes, it's cracks, sort of cutouts, but. I don't really think it's the shapes. But maybe. These are all round. These are all lumpy. Um, so the contest... Contest the relic. and the graveyard. Well, my gut, my gut tells me to beat this with the relic. I don't know if I'm capable of doing this. Uh, what I do think I can do is beat it with Chalice. So let's see if beating it with Chalice does anything.
because I th I think I can beat it with Miss Chalice. She just gets she gets a uh, all the nice little double jump. Oh well, we've already taken damage. That's okay. I gotta stay. I gotta be more careful. This is, uh. That's the practice. So you can see which one falls. You really just have to make sure. So my guess is we don't get extra health, right? Because this is a... Oh, I didn't, I didn't choose the challenge. The gauntlet. Alright. Any chance I could, uh... Chance I could get, uh... Some more hit points. Oh, that's that's me. Well, this first one's tough. I feel like um, most of the other things I could do without taking damage, but uh... this match will get red hot. oh, we get more hit points. All right. Well, we know what the trick to this one is: is being patient, right? So it might take us forever, but I think we can do it. If I, I got to remember how the the tells go. Right. Okay. So the face mask comes off, and he's going to go uh, up and around. Ooh, that was painful. <laughs> Ooh, that was dangerous. So this is definitely doable with Miss Chalice. Um, I think with some practice, I could probably do this with Cuphead, but not trivial. Highly non-trivial. Oops. I wonder if you if you keep all your health, do you get a bonus on the next phase or? This one's tricky. Here's a real high class belt. Now go. Looks like they always run towards you. run towards you I think it's you know very simple in terms of um, like their movements but there's just a lot of stuff going on all right so this guy I think I just have to learn not to be greedy that's the that's the easiest way to avoid damage like get the one attack with the up swipe, get the two attacks maybe with that. <clears throat> oh, 
like you could probably do two, but and I know you can do three on that one. But it's, you know, tight. That one I'm almost hitting his back. Oh, I, lo I love this violin now. This may be my favorite track in the DLC. I don't think I realized this, but you actually get your parry back when you parry with her. So you can continue to... Oh yeah, this one was non-trivial too. Like, at least I understand it, but... I'm just gonna be careful. Oh, that was, that was sad. Oh, that was really sad. Oh, I'm in a bad place. I don't remember the other ones as being difficult, so my guess is that that's going to be the sticking point. One, two, three. Just gonna kind of curious how many. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. I expected him to charge. So maybe 20, maybe 20 uh, parries. That little guy rolled right on me. It's a really good thing they give you your health back. I was actually expecting that this gauntlet would take your health, um, that you'd have one set of health, but I think it's even conceivable that I could do this with, with the cup, with Mr. Cup. Although getting up there is kind of tricky, right? Without the double jump. See, can't be greedy. There's no reason. There's no reason to do that to yourself.
All right. So this next one, we need a little refresher on, perhaps, but um, I, think, I think the trick is just to take all of these slow. Because you, let's see, let's see if we can see anything else. He spits them out. They they stay still for a second. Then they then ooh. Does this head not have collision or I feel like he speeds up just a little bit. All right, totally doable, totally doable. And the last two, I don't remember as being super hard. Let me see this one. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five, whoops. Six. Seven. Eight. Yeah, that one is probably the easiest for me. And then the queen one's not so bad. It's it's again like the aiming I think is the most difficult part. Um, so I'm just kind of trying not to not to pay attention to the to where the cannons are and just go for the shots that seem safe. All right. So yeah, the first, certainly the first few of those are, are much diff more difficult for me than the last couple. Wonder of wonders. I have ne'er witnessed such unmatched strength and endurance. I bestow unto thee the greatest gift of all, a king's admiration. Okay, well, I got, a, I got an achievement. The King's ad Admiration. Defeat the King's Gauntlet. So... So now the question is... Is it... Is it really a thing that I need to beat this with a broken relic? Like, I have... Very tenuous reason to think this is it. But you know what? It would also be interesting. So we what do we, we can't do the double jump. I feel like the knight's gonna be a lot trickier. The first one's gonna be hard, but we don't we don't really lose anything if we fail either, so like like my ability to parry is um, is still not fantastic. Parry the normal way. Oh yeah, we can't double jump and we can't dash to parry.
Ah, oh, that was a shame. Can't double jump. Um, let's practice the ones that isn't the first one, because the first one we can practice by doing a challenge. Why are these ordered this way? Oh, it just skips the pawn. So let's let's try the knight because I honestly can we even jump up high enough? A brawl is surely brewing and begins. Okay. Oh man, I have to I have to forget everything I've learned about about. Miss Chalice. That one's tight timing. I love this music. Um this match will get red hot and begin. Yeah, like you've really got to get in there. Like maybe the trick is to to sort of prepare prep for it like you you do the dash or you jump early. And I can only get one whereas I was getting like 3 with Miss Chalice. Yeah, that's tight. Why is that so tight? I feel like you gotta get up there ready to go. Ooh, this is much trickier. Here's a real high class bout. Here goes. <sighs> I could play it super safe. But because when his sword comes back down. Um, sorry, he he gets ready for that thrust. How does it work? A brawl is surely brewing. I feel like I have to jump late. If I stand here, I can get more than one, because I don't have to, like, go horizontal. But then he's going to keep doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's the point of that is to prevent you from baiting the lunge. Well, I did call it. This is significantly harder without without Miss Chalice. Hmm. Like that's the attack that I want. So, I could simply wait for that attack, and I have to get 10 of those. I could do that one too. Probably do two, and just ignore that one. Like, I don't love it. But I'm finding it too hard to hit that one. Yeah, I think I think this is what we'll do. This seems seems decent. It's a little sluggish, but you know. It works. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's try the next one. So the other ones, I mean, the other ones are going to be hard, but I don't think there's really anything in particular. Let's let's go back to the gauntlet.
This is this is highly non trivial. I think I should be using Dash more. I'm kind of still feeling like I have a double jump, even though I do not have a double jump. Can I? Surely you can parry twice. Definitely doable. Definitely doable. So, we know how to do the knight, which is a little slow, but it should work. And then, you know, maybe I should have practiced the other ones, but... Wonder if you could get four, probably get four with good time. I think I just missed my parry time. Maybe for the first time we've been one of these without taking damage. Certainly the first level. Um, probably it's not gonna, yeah, it doesn't give us like extra health in the second. Oops. I thought I was Miss Chalice again for a second. <clears throat> Can't double jump. Such a shame. It would probably be easier if I dashed to the to do the parry. But my brain is actually I'm not sure we need a second fanfare. Um, but my brain is still in this mode where it thinks that dashing is going to parry sometimes. It's funny. You know, I've played, I don't know, 100, 200 hours of Cuphead and then two hours of Miss Chalice and it's and yet it still affects the way my brain thinks about these things. Oh, hello, I missed you.
Glad the hard one is the first one. He says, not having tried the others. Oops. Dashed the wrong direction. Alright, buddy. Now, I should probably figure out how to attack that, but that was very close. I'm going to do the jump. I'm going to do the jump. The dash for that one and the jump for the other one. I have to kind of. I want to be ready. I'm going to be back a little bit. gracious all right all right so first time we're ever getting to the bishop um, I'm not sure why my brain thinks this is gonna be a cakewalk but uh, Oh yeah, this is this is going to be significant. Without the double jump. This is this is not super simple. I'm just going to try to play it safe. Remember what I said about playing it safe? All right. Good day for us. Well All right, now without the double jump here, I've always had a hard time Pairing from below. Like, it's definitely doable. You just kind of have to mash the jump button twice. Yeah, we need to practice this one.
Oh, 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 man, I can tell you. My heart was pounding there. <clears throat> oh, this is going to suck. So, so much for being calm and collected, right? So much. So, yeah, we're going to have to practice this one, too. The, the swipe attack is significantly harder when you have to jump to, to avoid it, as opposed to dashing. Because dashing, you basically just jump into it, you know? First try. Um, well, this is it, right? We have the charm. Do the gauntlet. Nothing happened. <laughs> All right, well, my idea to solving this puzzle did not quite work. So, okay, so now my brain is thinking, how, how else could we do this? So, there are nine spaces, right? And pieces move in different things on the grid. I don't know if that, that makes any sense, but maybe we can do like pawn, how a pawn would move something. Now we can get a hint. Um, like, if a pawn started here, you could move up. I'm not really sure that had anything to do with a pawn, but... Oh, hello! Oh, this looks like a lot. Oh yeah, I can shoot. <laughs> I've forgotten that I had the ability to shoot. So passing gas would be quite helpful for that. Um... For that thing that goes across. Wait, did they change the name? Was it, was it, did I really make up passing gas? I feel so crass. Um, 
Okay, so we can shoot, and now we can dash through the this max will get red pillar. Do I like this background? How do I dash? I see. The below the cloud is a lightning bolt, and that hurts. All right, I'm dashing in the wrong direction, but there's a lot. Visually, a lot going on here. It's also quite interesting how the smoke bomb makes you invisible, which which does significantly make dashing more dangerous because you actually can't see yourself. I'm just gonna play this cool. There's no need to be in a rush. Actually, the music is kind of chill, too. Well, it was. A horrible night to have a curse. Oh, man, that's a reference. That's a That goes way back to Castlevania 2. Could it be the fabled cursed relic long thought lost to time awoken at last? I've seen writings that say... That say it despises it despises bravery. With a greater foe, more evil shall go. What could it mean? Oh shit! There's more to this. There's more to this riddle. The fabled cursed relic, long thought lost to time, awoken at last. I've seen writings that say it despises bravery. With a greater foe, more evil shall go. Does that mean I need to fight harder opponents or fight easier opponents? So I did vertical. I actually can't hit these anymore. I actually can't hit any of these anymore. Ah! So we have powered up the relic, which is a debuff relic. Cursed, sorry, jinxed curio that inflicts various status ailments. So now I'm thinking maybe we should go back to the to the challenge. Um I'm kind of curious what this does. So let's let's try a uh, let's try one of these normal bosses. We can we can go ahead and start practicing expert as well. Oh, well, we have one hit point. My weapon seems to be not under my control. I'm also purple. Yeah, some. Oh, hello. Um. My weapon seems to be randomly changing. At least maybe when I take my finger off the button. Oh, that's a shame that it doesn't bounce up high enough. Yeah, I'm gonna switch weapons. Get the one that I want. Interesting. So let's um let's go back just to see if anything happens. I'm gonna go back to one of the like the first island and try to beat one of the bosses with this with this curio. But my my gut tells me we have to <laughs> that it wants us to beat
the 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 boss rush with the curio. Maybe. I don't really know. So I hear you fellas. Actually, also, what are we what are we hoping to gain here? I'm not even sure. There's no more coins left. So I hear you fellas gave some of them ghost waffle. Okay, so that's, that's just one more. Let's um. It's too goofy. Good day Right, one hit point. One hit point. <laughs> Love my roundabout. Oops. <laughs> All right. All right. We can do this. And if there's one weapon that I've never used. It's the one where you charge up this one um, because I don't want to have to think about picking my thumb up. Um, I actually I noticed one time when I dashed that I was invisible, and I kind of wonder if it's giving me buffs as well, but I, surely not, right? Maybe maybe I'm just making it up. Oh, they see that one was invisible. At least I thought. How did I get an extra hit point? That really threw me. Does that... Does invincibility give me an extra hit point now? Did it always? Okay, alright, alright, alright. I'm back, I'm back. I'm focused. Something gave me a hit point, and it was parrying. I mean, it seems.
instead of playing it safe, I decided to speed things up. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're doing it this time. So, I, I, I'm thinking, so, maybe it gave us the power of the ring, which actually gives you hit points on parries. So, it is giving us benefits, but it's also making our weapon random, and it's taking away our health. So, it's, it's it really is giving us random effects, not just bad effects, I think is what's going on. Trying to trying to figure this out and and do this uh, this fight. Goopy's I've never found Goopy to be as easy. He's supposed to be the first boss, but um, like I feel like the other bosses of the first island are easier. It got another hit point. On the third. Good thing we did. Not really sure what I'm expecting to happen, but I guess we did figure out a lot about this charm. I'm hoping. Oh, there's no way to get the. There's really no way to get three hit points unless you had more chances to parry. What's one that has a lot of parry? I'm not sure I've ever noticed these um these background sounds. A great slam and then some. And begin. Um A great slam and then some. You're up. This is this is not gonna work. Uh, my brain is having a really hard time with the weapon switching, actually. But that's okay. All right, so I don't know what to make of this. I think... I think it could just be that this charm is meant to sort of be... difficult? But I think a lot of people would argue that this doesn't necessarily... Excuse me, make it more difficult, like than the pea shooter. Um, but I, I think it does. I think it does. And I, well, if you did the gauntlet with this, you really just have one hit point. Right, but these other effects might be giving you hit points because you're parrying so much. If you get the ring effect. Let, let's give it a couple of shots. I'm not sure what I'm doing, if there's a goal. I, sh I should probably just look through the Steam achievements. A brawl is surely brewing. 
Wait, we have three hit points. We also don't have like gas effects. So I don't I don't think this is what we're meant to do at all. I also don't know why I think there's something we're meant to do. It's just there's a secret and he had he had little words. But yeah, it seems like the, the ring has been the charm has been removed from him. Yeah, not, nothing seems special about this. Alright. Which is weird that they wouldn't allow the, the charm on this. I kind of wonder if maybe beating... But no, it would, maybe that would have happened with Goopy. Maybe only beating these new bosses with the charm does something, but... Um, I don't know. I did see one of these one of these achievements. So let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the public ones. So obtain an A rank or higher on all bosses in Ink Well 4. Defeat 10 bosses with Miss Chalice. So I guess we've done five. We need to do another island. Maybe maybe we go through the first island with um Miss Chalice. Get an S rank on a stage of four. So that's I think that's just expert perfect. Or is that not taking any hits? I think it's expert perfect. Um, defeat a boss without killing any of its minions. Huh. <laughs> so that would mean that would mean not using a chaser weapon and being really careful. Um, have nine hit points at one time. So. Nine hit points. So this gives you three. And I guess you could go back to King Dice. <laughs> I think that's what that has to do. Um, I think the... You know, we've never even used the role. I think the most fun thing for me would be to go back and like beat the first island with Miss, Miss uh, Chalice. Let's try that. So that's five more bosses. Wait, why? Why did these say S? But this says cup. Like, I have 200% of the game. Oh yeah, dash. Oops. Dash to parry. It's so, it's so funny. It's such a small little thing, but like... I don't think I've ever seen that. Did they add a phase? Or is this weapon just doing so little damage that I've never triggered that? I'm so confused.
this coin. I'm, d I'm not succeeding as Bob Rossi as I was uh, the first time I played this game. Um, but yeah, I wonder if they've they've added a phase or simply buffed it or it just doesn't do as much damage as as anything I've ever used. Which is conceivable. Probably the the, the non-homing version does significantly more damage. That's my guess. But, well, I guess yeah it wasn't really up here at him. So we'll stay yeah, look at that. That that happened immediately. That's never happened before. So it must be a patch or something. Or maybe Miss Chalice has extra phases. Maybe Miss Chalice has extra phases and that's what the cup flag was. I'm making up all sorts of horror. I, I don't know where I'm getting all this stuff from, but... Um... Maybe the cup flag meant that there's a new phase for Miss Chalice only. Oh yeah, dash. Wow, we're getting a lot of bowls. Okay, well that was strange. I, my controller's actually wired. So I don't know what happened there. Man, this thing does not, this isn't doing a lot of damage. Um, that threw me for a loop. Yeah, the timer. The timer prevented us from getting a high score. Does that, does that always happen? I feel like I'm looking for all these... Okay. What what the heck? What the heck, game? There's nothing... Like, it's plugged into USB. I'm trying to figure out puzzles. Why, why are you doing this to me, game? Um, Alright, so that was one. Right, we're trying to do five more bosses with Miss uh, Miss Chalice. Oh God! All this talk about uh, being a better player.
I'd be really curious to look up um, the damages of those things. Like, the highest skill thing probably would be to let that play out for a while and then send it in late. So I think this is our first S with Miss Chalice. Nothing really different seems to happen. Uh, Alright, this will be three. Boss three. Oh, you even see him eat the little cookie. Um, yeah, I got Goofy. I just feel like I have a hard time knowing whether he's going to jump. And I need to wait longer to decide. For some reason, I just don't. Oh, yeah. Right, you can't. You can't press A to, uh, to parry. I believe that's three. Not really taking advantage of her abilities, but... Um, I'd be really curious to see how the speedrun might change. If you can go to aisle four first, Maybe beating things with Miss Chalice might actually be faster. Um, be really curious to see that. So th this isn't super different, right? The only thing different is her her X, which you don't really have to aim anymore. I think may maybe her weapon, does, does Cuphead's weapon not fire in three shots? It's funny that I don't know that. Oh boy. Trying to save the super for the for the final phase, but probably should have just used it. Uh, but I really like the strategy in the speed run with the with the torpedo weapon because you actually have to get hit to do full damage with that. Uh, so you kind of let her come into you and then release it as she's coming back, and it does. Tons of damage. Um, I just realized something. So, because I've been practicing this game, the speed run, I haven't been playing these bosses on expert. Um, it's been a long time, a long time since I played the game on expert, and that may be the change to Ruby and Crook that I was noticing. But like. 
there's really changes to everything. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it, now 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 it's getting in my head. But yeah, things are much more aggressive. Boy, I had a real time doing uh, Wally Warbles an expert. It's like the shots get five, and you can't just hide in the corner. It's 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 quite a bit, quite a bit to it. All right, but my head's in it now. I think I think I've got it. I understand why it was so overwhelming. There's a lot more of those green guys. That was frustrating, but it's okay. It's okay. I wonder, I'm really starting to think that Cuphead doesn't fire a try shot, and maybe her bullets are a little bit weaker. It's fun. It's like, um, it's like when somebody asks you, you know, on a penny, which direction is Lincoln, Lincoln facing? And, you know, you've seen a penny a hundred times. I mean, a thousand times in your life. Ten thousand times. You know, how many times have you seen a penny? But what direction is Lincoln facing? No clue. It's like I've never thought... about the shots that come out, because I just, I don't pay attention to the bullets. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this expert. No, I'm enjoying this. I've never understood where that starts. 
I, I feel like you can't know. There's gotta, there's gotta be a way. But it looks totally symmetrical. Something, if, if anybody knows, really let me know because I've always tried to figure that out and I have not seen a pattern. Like, where should you stand to be safe? So I think, I think with this, and I'm, I'm still not 100%, but I think with yellow, you want to let it go and then dodge. And with red, you want to go ahead of it. But actually, now that I'm looking at that, I'm not sure that's even true. I might be making that up. working out. Alright, so there's Decadent. Was that 10 bosses? Defeat 10 bosses with Miss Chalice. So, so one of those sort of special bosses must have counted somehow. How is that perfect? We didn't get time bonus. All right, so that is one challenge down. What do we have left? Um, a rank or higher, S rank. Yeah. Killing in its main is hardy. Let's go play with the new bosses. So... We actually did an A-plus on this guy. Um... I like this super. This gives us more health, effectively. What's the advantage to crack shot? Of crack shot to uh, chaser? I'm not really sure. But Let's give let's give expert a shot. Um, oh yeah, now we have we have. Uh, I gotta remember what her abilities are. We just finished the plane. It's, it's funny how confusing that is. I guess I keep switching back and forth between modes, but. Alright, geese cross it. You need to stay down. Do I have to duck? Don't have to duck. Get it. Duck. Geese. Oh yeah, dash. Dash to, uh, to parry. Well, oh, that's tight. So, seems to be a lot more health. A lot more health. I 
that's a shame. I have to say, I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between this and normal, other than the first phase seems to have significantly more health. I guess there's more stuff going on, but there was a lot of stuff going on before. Should probably go for, yeah, let's, let's get the heart as much as possible. Oh. Alright, we got a strategy. What, what was our deal here? Let's try to stay with the ball? With the ball. With the ball? With the ball. With the ball, watch the ground. Sure I'm with the ball, I'm really just Oh yeah. And we want to keep those for hearts. Oh it's all coming to It's all coming loose in my head. Um Alright. I think I wanna stay forward as much as possible. I think that does more damage. I'm fine standing on the edge here. Don't even need to like jump around. These, these columns are disappearing. All right, what do we got? So avoid the ball, stay with the ball, stay with the ball. Um, I didn't see what hit me. I guess stuff's coming up. Stuff's coming up faster than I can process it. But it's the same as before. They're crawling under. That could help on that phase if actually I start to roll. All right, now this. This isn't so bad. Quite keep uh, three health, and it was pretty slow, so I'm not sure we're gonna get the A plus. Got an A minus. Um, but you know we don't need to do it with Miss Chalice, right? If we did it with well, her super does... Her super gives us two extra health, effectively. Maybe three if we can get it off three times. With enough parries. It's probably easier with her. The ring gives three. If you parry. Enough.
Let's, let's give another shot. I'm not. I feel like that third phase. Maybe all of them. The, the only thing that really changed was like the frequency with which stuff happened. I didn't really notice any like additional effects. I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive about parries this time. We're trying to trying to get as many block shots as possible. Don't see what don't see what hit me. Oh, this second phase is going to kill me. I, I guess I should be rolling. Um, it might be time to start switching weapons, too. Like, this weapon was, um, was nice to beat the bosses initially because it was so simple. But its damage definitely seems to be subpar. I don't think these would be significantly harder with, like, roundabout. I am thinking about beating these without killing a minion. That's going to be something. That is going to be something else. Like, you got to take it really slow and just make sure you're shooting her, but stray shots? B plus. All right, let's try another weapon. I think I think I want to stick with her. Um, let's do the old. Let's see, he's kind of above us. We'll probably just do roundabout, but let's let's see how it goes. I think maybe the the air one is nice. It was also. I didn't say it out loud, but very Mega Man 2 Airman weapon. So what I like about Roundabout is that no matter which direction you're shooting, you're going to hit. Um, I clearly need to watch out for... Those fires are coming from the gnomes below, so maybe maybe it's worth killing the gnomes, like um, like planting. Do this do this bad boy. You know? Um, roundabout is not great for this, so it's only hitting him when he ducks. The hand, the arms, forearms don't seem to have a hitbox. This would maybe be good for the air, the air thing. Let's try, let's try air as the second attack. Uh, but yeah, very Mega Man Two. Air, Air Man, I believe this is proper time. So yeah, I'm gonna be paying more attention to these gnomes on the ground. The gnomes climb up. So like, there's one. And I can't I can kill him. And then if they're dead, 
Presumably they can't shoot fire. They do take, uh, they do have to take... Alright. Um... I'm going to try Chaser. Now, I know that the damage is low, but I kind of wonder how it compares to the the new weapon. Because <clears throat> this is a lot less to think about. Didn't trust that I could avoid the bear. All right, this seems to be even less damage than uh, than the new weapon, but it's pretty close, right? Oh, it's hitting the forearm and actually the missile is, is disappearing. unfortunate. One downside of the chaser is that it often kills the enemies before I can parry them. This third phase is like totally doable. Like the third phase, very rarely do I seem to take damage. It's that second phase that's so tough. I think this is still the right strategy. We want to, well actually time, if, if what we learned back on Isle 1 is true, time doesn't actually play into the S, which is, I really thought it did, but like I kind of think if we do this a few more times, I'll eventually avoid taking damage on the second phase. Um, maybe. I really got to get these parries so that I get the blocks. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I just hit the wrong button. I think we're at the point now where I know the fight well enough, I'm just going to restart. Comes quick. 
still learning things for sure. But like now, I know what to look for is kind of the idea. Like it's 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 a uh, gravy. His hand has a hitbox. All right. See, still learning things. Still learning things. For some reason, my hand keeps going to the um, the back button instead of the front uh, trigger. The you know how there's like two uh, two trigger buttons. I have it set to be the front. My hand keeps finding itself on the back. All right. Little bear coming. Be crazy about geese right now. All right, that's not so bad. You know, honestly, it might be easy just to go to the bottom. why I jumped into that. I can't recover at this point. I have to I have to retry because I can't get back the third hit point. Probably restart, but it's still possible. You gotta really be on the edge there. I thought I was being too conservative by being like half a foot off, but it seems like necessary. I think we got three parries there. That was a good cloud round. Don't let them build up. Yeah, this is the best one because we get these parries. Where am I? More pinks, more pinks, please. Doing good. So far, I haven't taken any damage. Obviously, this is the hard one. Well, gosh! I rolled into him instead of a wave. All right, that was a good round.
Right. I wish we could figure out a better strategy on this one. Like, staying close doesn't doesn't always seem to help, because sometimes he throws it quite close. Staying away doesn't seem to help, because sometimes he throws it quite far away. So, like, if there is a tell as to where he's going to throw the ball, I would like to know it, because I have not seen it. quite know what to do about that. Give me a third, give me a third. That is a shame. So that one, I'm pretty sure only had two pinks, so it's really a matter of luck whether you get the third. Oh, really? You've got to be all the way off that platform. I'm getting, um, it's messing with my head. Now. Move. I dropped down and dashed from the drop, but it, I didn't quite line it up right. I should probably be playing it through. But I feel like we've gotten to the point where it's doable. I just need to execute. Like, we've learned... Oof, we've learned... I've learned a lot, but really that second phase, maybe there's something to it that I'm missing. Okay, apparently she rolled off instead of uh, dashed, which was... Unfortunately, we have not gotten enough parries here. Tell if that's being eaten by his beard or if it was actually damaged.
All right, we got a shot. Right. So except for speed, that should have been a plus. So I'm hoping it gives us an S. It did not. So we have to do that, but faster. <sighs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in just a second. All right, so don't exactly know why we got an S on the um, other stage and we only got an A on this stage. Um, I guess the star is that we've done it on expert. I don't understand why these. I guess this grade is actually the most recent grade and not your best grade. Because 
because I'm 200 percent of the game. Um, all right, well, I've certainly gotten better at this. Now the question is, what is going to do us more damage? Like enough damage to to be able to beat this quickly. Um, Like maybe we for the second phase we switch to twist up, and the third phase that's gonna be tricky. The third phase trying to aim right that's that adds a whole another component to the to the match. But let's let's give this a shot and see how bad it is. Oh yeah, the, the gnomes the gnomes at the bottom need to be killed. The nose at the bottom need to be killed, and I have to aim to kill them. Hmm. And we should switch to a different boss. Oh yeah, this is tricky. This is not not having to aim really made my brain better. It made it better for my brain. It's like with the queen fight, right? Like not thinking about aiming just makes it less um, less you have to worry about. So maybe the trick now is to spend more time on the ground. So at least I don't have to duck. At least I don't have to duck to hit them. I can just drop down and then um, bounce back up. Um, I'm gonna actually switch to pea shooter because I I'm not able to stay far enough away that I'm hitting him from here. So that I again, it's more I have to remember I have to turn around to hit it. So, I'm going to switch to Pea Shooter. I think that's what I want. So we'll do Pea Shooter and then the Air, which we don't really know if that's going to work, but we'll try it. Okay. And hopefully the Pea Shooter can hit this, because I, I think they have different hitboxes. Hopefully the Pea Shooter can hit the little gnomes on the bottom without me ducking. It looks like that's going to work. Oh yeah, you can't hit his... If you hit his beard, he doesn't take damage. Alright, well now we know... We learned one more little thing. It's kind of amazing how many things there are to learn. But all these little pieces of understanding really help because it they really matter. Like where the damage is coming from, when you're doing damage. I don't know why I missed that, but all right. This is this plan seems doable at least in the first stage. I'm being shot by fire and I can't see. Yeah, all right. This is, this is definitely faster too. Now the question is, can we do the damage in the second phase? Oh, I didn't even see that.
Oh yeah, this is a ton more damage. All right, so last phase question. Question being, is this going to even hit the little uvula thing? Yeah, let's, let's take this for safety. And I really just have to twist around to make sure that I'm aiming towards it. It's not a huge deal. Not doing a ton of damage, honestly. Don't know if that was quick enough, but I think we did everything else. Wow, that is a tight timer. We got the A+. Plus. I'm just going to check here because I'm not sure if I, I... I thought that getting an S meant getting all the gold. But I'm just going to check real quick. Yeah, under two minutes. So... Alright, here's the question. What what screwed us? Was it the last phase? Because that was, that was quite slow, I felt, for the last phase. Like, honestly, that might have been faster with the chaser. First phase, second phase, both felt fast to me. So I feel like it was the second, the third, but... I also don't know if I could have shaved up more than ten seconds. So obviously, obviously the super is, is a lot of our damage is going into blocking hits. So if I could get better at dodging, we could do more damage. Let's see if we could do... The Cyclone? Or the, the Airman? Airbuster? Um, and then actually just chase her for the last phase. Because maybe we can do the first two phases with Airbuster. Ah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I'm, I'm staying way too far back. Yeah, for some reason in my head that, that made sense. Um... Two minutes, man. I know that the spread is like, you can do a lot of damage, but you have to get so close. I've never been good at it. Let's stick with this. Give it another shot. If we can get better at that second phase, Maybe we won't need the heart. Crap. This is non-trivial. Well, I didn't see him. Those are little gnomes.
Oh, come on. Oh, that rascal. I kind of wonder, I, I, I saw this before, but I, I had dismissed it. So the doll is angled very sharply, right? And I thought maybe that's the direction he's going to throw the doll, but... And it may still be true, but I kind of don't think it is. I've seen him do that and still throw to the middle. But it's something to look for. All right, that was super quick. Now it all comes down to time. Uh, not getting hit, but you know. That had to be close, though. That that last round went on for so long. Oh, it's still 206. Maybe it's not such a tight... Yeah, we got it, even though we'd missed the time. But I guess it's just not exactly two minutes. It uh, gives you a little le leeway. Well, there's our first S, so that gives us... Cooked to perfection to get an S rank on A stage. But that's not good enough. I want all the S ranks. Does this does this ever do anything? I always win. I'm down at us. Um So let's um let's just kind of go through and do the whole thing. So we'll start with spread. And then I'll I'll add a uh, pea shooter because if we can get a good thing but i kind of feel like he's above us but I, I don't remember the fight too too well so let's take a look first this match will get red hot. You're up. yeah he's definitely above us the air would be good but all right so there's going to be two cards instead of one card i think that's the big difference Yeah. Um, pea shooter wouldn't be horrible for this. Like, 
I definitely have to aim, but it's not it's not terrible. I could I could do this, for example. Yeah, this is the one that gave me tough a uh, 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 trouble. Oh wow! Okay, so a lot more of those. Oof. Can stand between them though. Although it's tight. Yeah, okay. Second phase pea shooter is uh, fine. The last phase. Hmm. Oh, that's. That's a more accurate hitbox than I expected. Oh, wow. Okay. So, like, his cloak doesn't count? Huh. Yeah, that's very, that's very small. Very small hitbox for P-Shooter. Um, obviously, the, the air makes a lot of sense. But, again, small hitbox. Chaser did the first round pretty fast, and Chaser's going to be useful in the last round. So maybe what we want is Chaser and Pea Shooter, which I think I have equipped. I just need to switch for the first phase. Or, no, leave it on the first phase and switch for the second phase. I don't know if that's going to be fast enough, but it's going to be doable. Which... Yeah, that's something. I kind of wish you could hit those in the air, but I get it. I get it. I didn't expect that as the first attack. Yeah, maybe jumping over that is, is the best strategy. Just like do a dash. Um, and actually, I think I want roundabout for this. Because I'm staying in the middle, but I am turning around a lot. So let's do, let's do, oops, let's do Chaser and Roundabout. <clears throat> I've, I've pretty much forgotten the last phase, so hopefully that'll work. But, uh, and then, you know, is Chaser better than this new one? I have no clue. Oh man, it is so hot. Oh, that's close. First phase is quite slow, but it's short phase, so. Yeah, that's the way to do that. Let's let's not stand in the middle anymore. Ice phase seems to be the toughest. Oh my gosh. So I've got a little fan on my desk that's um 
trying to keep me cool, but it's blowing little hairs on my face. Tickles. All right. So now, last phase, I think if I remember right, was like, from in my head, it was just a dodge phase. So that's why I'm switching to chaser because I'm thinking, oh, oh, this is a lot quicker. Okay. That extends way past the top of the screen. So we'll look at, we'll look at time. That, that one's not bad. I think I just need to stay on the outside, or at least that's how I'm thinking of it. This is doable, but difficult. This is the hard one. It's so quick. Um, it also seems to stay in the center, so maybe the trick is for me to stay on the edges and jump around it when it comes. It's Aurora... Bori all over. Uh, I hate that that's so funny. <laughs> I wish I could have seen the time. Because I don't know if this is, is this is feasible, you know? Like what? What weapon would I want if, it, if I don't use chaser? I want chaser for that last round. Though. That's that's a lot, and to be at the end when it's the most stressful. That's workable. That's so sad. Well, it would have been it would have been three hit points, but um, let's let's check the time. Oh, the time's good. Oh, I need more parries. Okay. Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't give enough cards in the first round. That third phase I could probably do round about the whole time. It, I didn't get enough brain power to look at really whether I was hitting him with all those um, roundabouts, but... Oh, look, they don't come at... Uh, 
was going to say they don't come out of the ground unless you shoot them, but um, they just take longer to come out. <clears throat> give me a card. Give me a card. I want pink cards. That pairing in the second phase is a, is a real bear, and I don't even know if there's anything to parry in the third phase. Gosh darn it. I wonder... So one thing... Oh no, that's because I, 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 time is tight too. Like We're just barely making it ju just in over two minutes. I was going to say we could take extra time in the first phase to get those cards. Um, what is what is what's happening here? Let's let's try chase. Come on, Brad. I mean, um, roundabout. Yeah, it's it's not. Give me a second card, you punk. Like, what was that, one parry? So now I need to think about parries in the second phase, which is difficult, especially since I'm attacking. Oh. Like, I often destroy the things I can parry before I get a chance to parry. Alright, well, I think I got my three. Let's, tr let's take the opportunity to try roundabout in the third phase to maybe save some time. So we're basically looking to see if anything goes over his head. Oh, that's hard to, to double back. Um, he's big enough that I think... So I thought I could double jump around that, and it, it is possible sometimes, but I often want to... to dash back, but the platforms aren't always the right spot. So that's still my... Like the thing that I'm struggling the most with. One second. That last phase is long. Um, chaser really needs to be pointed, which which kind of defeats the point of the chaser, but it's still easier just to point than to um, like actually aim. Okay, one.
Come on, man. We need we need some ducks to parry or what are these ice, ice pops? They're all green. Give me some picks. Two. Well, there's nothing to parry in the third phase. I don't think. So that's just bad luck. Uh, distracted. Oh, that's that is that is a bear. What do I do about that? Oh, there's these. Okay, okay. So there are things you can parry in the third phase. Not not easy with all the stuff that's going on, but there there are things to parry. It's a shame we got pink right off the bat, but took a hit. Is there any way to get more cards, Buster Roo? Sometimes you throw two, but I don't know what causes it. Oh, come on. The, the pairing seems to be the thing that's going to make this tough. I mean, that last phase is hard, but the pairing really makes these a lot tougher. So when you don't have that opportunity, what, what are you going to do? What can you do? And then to leave the pairing for the last phase is, you know, it's like, okay, I can get out of jail, but... Um, it's already a hard phase. So, I have to parry, I think, two pinks. Which means, again, he has to give me the right phase. And he's not giving it to me. Oh, that eyeball. That eyeball right now is the only thing I can't avoid. I feel like jumping around is the best bet because, like, unless you have passing, uh, I don't, I, like, surely I've heard that in a game. That must be from a game, right? Because passing gas, it's kind of a pun. Anyway, smoke, smoke bomb. Hmm. Because you could go through it. Whereas now you have to time going through it, and it's, that's difficult. I guess I could spin, but the platforms are so tiny. Like, probably the spin would disappear when you fall off the platform. I'm not really sure how it works. But my guess is you'd lose the spin as you fall. Like, it could be worth trying. Mm. 
one. We need practice on the third phase, so I'm not gonna quit, but like I'm accidentally shooting the things that I can parry way before I get a chance to parry them. Okay, I think I've only gotten one parry. I don't know what to do about that eyeball. I guess jumping around isn't the solution, but that means timing a dash between the phases. But you really have to be going against his direction. Two. I still feel like I'm missing a lot of those roundabout shots, but I don't know how he takes up the whole screen. So the time's good, so I think on the third phase I'm going to stick with uh, the chaser. It's really about the, um, the eyeball. And, and getting those parries, right? Like, we were lucky with the parries. Something this game consistently does, and I didn't really notice it on my first playthrough, except for one phase, or one fight in the whole game. But there are objects in the foreground, and they, they like, obscure your vision. Now, my gut reaction to this is that it's bad. I do think it's, it, it is somewhat interesting because you have to, 
like you can account for it because you can expect well, there may be something there, and so that is a dangerous part of the screen to jump at, unless I know. So then I have to track, like, where objects are. So it's definitely more interesting. I still don't think I like it. I think I like being able to see more than having to remember, just in terms of its funness to me. But I have come to appreciate that it's it adds... It adds, like, another skill, which is tracking. You know, you know he shoots out four dudes every time. You, you need to know where the fourth one is. The fourth one might be behind the candle. Give me another card. No, no. Not a pink one. I want two pinks in the first round. Remember, there's a couple of fights where parrying wound up being like the hardest part. Um, I think the dragon is one of them because the only thing I could parry was in the first phase, and so if you don't get your three, it's just like, well, that's it. So I think I've gotten two here. I need practice with the third phase. I'm going to try to pay more attention to, to roundabout. Like, I don't see any missing. Certainly if, if I'm not firing away. Like, that's... That eyeball technique sometimes works, but it really depends on the position of the platforms. I think that's my best shot. Just need one more hit point. Well, it definitely feels doable, right? Um, at this point, it's just about execution. A brawl is surely brewing. It's on. We got two.
So there's our three. That's so sad. One. Two. I, I went for the parry because I need I need another one. Didn't get the parry either. Man, the parries are so stingy in this stage. It was very quick though, which makes me think roundabout is the way to go at the end. I think that's what that tells me. So we just, we need the luck to line up. I mean, like, I, I, I'm going to keep getting a little bit better each time, but it's also a lot of luck. My strategy works if we get the parries we need. And then don't get the eye, because that's the one I, I struggle with the most. Have we gotten one? I don't I haven't I don't think I've counted one. And that was just read. Alright. This match will get red hot. Um I'm not doing a, a fantastic job of like being totally emotionless, but the way that I was when I played through originally. Um, but it is interesting how much of this game is mental. And I don't just mean learning the patterns. 
Um, you know, you're fighting yourself, you're fighting your emotions, your frustration, your hopes and dreams and wishes. And how you think of yourself. I think I've only got one. Which is a real shame. I think I need two more parries. And he's not giving them to me. See, that was all mental. I didn't get the parries anyway, but like the frustration builds, you know, and it starts occupying the the bandwidth that you need to process what's going on on the screen. <sighs> Come on, parries. Come on, parries. I'd love to get two in the first round, right? That that makes it doable. Like, it's not super stressful. I'd love to get three in the first round, but you know. How about, how about two? One. How about none? Come on, Mr. Wizard. Good day for us. Well back. Here goes. Here's a real high class belt. And begin. I'm kind of surprised they didn't add more of these intro good day for us. Well good day for spell battle kind of stuff. Because I think there's only like two or three. And you do hear like a bajillion rhymes. Okay, one. Maybe it's worth extending the first phase just to hope for more cards. Come on, Mr. Wizard. I think I've only counted one.
The dodges, like, like the, the dash, it's risky because you have to commit to it, which I think is a perfectly good trade-off. Uh, but just like everything in this game, there's just a lot to think about. A lot of little micro decisions. Did we do one, or, or am I misremembering? It maybe that's two. It's at least one. Oh yeah, use that as soon as possible. That's, um, that's sad. That may have been it. I'm nearly positive I got three parries. Nice. Whew. That was uh that one felt like more of a workout mentally than the than the giant did. If there's two S's down, um Uh, four more to go. So I think I'm gonna end the video here, um, and I will see you next time.